I am taught to love. I am taught to never judge. I am taught to seek peace within myself, to seek purification, uh, to seek correction in myself first before I dare to venture outward into the realm of others and their problems. I am taught to be patient. I am taught to be forgiving. I am taught to be humble. I am taught to be slow to anger. I am taught all of these things not necessarily, I think, because it sounds good for the sake of saying them, but I think because they are truly forms of spiritual medication without which the, the, the disease of darkness takes over. If you don't believe me, you 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 believe me. <laughs> I think if you don't believe me, you believe me. You just don't want to agree with me. <laughs> but I mean, like, if you don't believe me, then there's many many ways you can see the the effects of of what is inac what is. I want to say poorly described as darkness. I say poorly described because I, I don't think there are really words in, 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 in any of the tongues of man to accurately describe spiritual realities. I don't know. I'm stupid. Y'all know I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's just what I think because like, it's just, yeah. But anyway, I'm making this video in in the hopes that others may see it and in the hopes that others may may join in this plea i guess i guess you could call it it's sort of begging my brothers and sisters of the world not only my b beloved in christ but just my beloved images of the almighty even if you are not a Christian and, and atheist, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. This is one thing I'm not gonna uh, um, let go. I strongly believe that you, whether you are a Christian or not, are made in the image of the Almighty and are beyond holy. And so I, I, I choose to address you as such. So my beloved, uh, holy images of the Almighty. Um. I, I beg of you um, to listen. Not assuming I have anything important to say, but listen with, with love. As I will do my best, God being my help, to listen to you. I, I have been in Japan going on six years. And I have missed a great deal of things that are happening in the U.S. Uh, but I still try to keep up with it. I still try to watch it and see what's happening. And the things I've seen over the past couple of years with, with what I would describe as hyper sensitivity with everything going on with, with, with women and uh, the transgender community, LGBTQ, all this other, all this stuff, all this stuff is going on, bro. I think, as 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 a person attempting to improve in in their walk with Christ, in their attempt to become a better Orthodox Christian, a better Christian, a better person, I I believe that we must start the conversation over. I I. Am very um, sensitive, I think, to sound uh, because of my eyes. I was born three and a half months premature, so my eyes aren't that good, but my ears are far better than my eyes are. And I've always been 
not super sensitive, but sensitive enough, I guess, more than people out of my friends, to sound. And when there's a, a cacophony of noise, it's just, it really bothers me. Like if something doesn't sound right, it just, it, it's really annoying and it's bothersome. And I think conversations in the States, from what I can tell, in other parts of, you know, the West, but, you know, um, are, are reaching to the point of cacophony where there's no discussion and there's let alone no love in many of these discussions there there could in in some there are and some there aren't and i think the conversation must start over and i think the conversation must must begin differently uh so for instance with with the trans thing there's lots of stuff about that i don't agree with there's lots of stuff about that i don't understand but as i mentioned a few seconds earlier or at this point about a minute earlier I believe strongly that all are made in the image of the Almighty and all are holy. That must not change. I don't have to like what you do. I don't have to agree with what you do. And I would I would pray you not force me because I think if you for, try to force me to like something I don't like or agree with something I don't agree with, then the love goes away. And then it's no longer a discussion, it's no longer a conversation, it's, it's, it's aggression, and aggression is never good, I think. Just as I, I must never force my faith on you, I must never force my thoughts on you. I can share them, I can be passionate about them, I can defend them, but I must not, I think, God help me, push you. I think God never pushes God guides and God suggests, but God never pushes, I don't think. But anyway, even with that, with the trans talk and, and that whole discussion, I would like to begin that discussion like this. I love you and forgive me. With the LGBT thing um and all the stuff that's going on with that because you know that's you know why not that's always a, a topic right i would like to begin that with i love you forgive me neither of those topics i began with discussing the actual topic because that's not where i think the discussion should begin the discussion i think should be, be should begin by recognizing we are, we are both weak, we are both imperfect, we are both made in the image of God, we both deserve so much love and so much respect. We, ought, we might not agree, we might not support one another's decisions, but we must never lose the respect and honor for the ones in front of us. Be you trans, be you lesbian, gay, be you atheist, Satanist, whatever. If you breathe, you are made in the image of the Almighty and must be honored. And from that base, I think a conversation can start. But I, again, I'm, I'm rambling, but I'm making this video as sort of as a plea may we try to start the conversation over and start the conversation with love and then god help us may we begin to talk and more importantly may we god help us listen may not agree with each other actually we probably we're not going to agree with each other we're not going to like what we say to each other but we must listen and have honor for the one speaking to us. Because I don't I don't think we realize how dark we can get. Or we don't want to pay attention to how dark we how dark I can get. We all know how dark humanity can get in, in this broad sense if we look at history or or large groups. But I don't think many of us want to sit down and think how evil I can be. 
how dark I can be. The horrible things I can say to someone. Or the horrible, unholy things I can do to someone. I think no one is beyond reaching sainthood. God help us, God being our guide. And and at the same time, no one, I think, is beyond the realm of, of pure darkness. But we must choose, as the Savior constantly tells us, we must choose the path we want to walk down. And so I beg, if, if only two people listen to this, then the two of you, may God help us to be peaceful to one another. Again, we may not agree, we may not like our opinions, we may never uh, uh, reach a consensus, but may God guide us towards love and peace. And even if we end in disagreement, may we end peacefully and disagree peacefully. That is my plea. God help us. God help us to be one. I love y'all. Bye.